Today, we're going back to China's Tang Dynasty with Li Bai. As a poet, Li Bai was known for his love of drinking wine, deriving inspiration from these moments of pleasure. He was part of a group of poets known as the Eight Immortals of the Wine Cup. Li Bai was an imperial scholar with a passion to assist the emperor for better government. Unfortunately, he wasn't taken seriously by the court. He was only summoned to festive events and parties to compose poems. As a result, he felt frustrated and lonely that his passion was being overlooked. It is believed that during one of his drunken experiences, he saw the moon, attempted to catch it, and fell into the water, drowning. Although the veracity of this story is questionable, this legend has taken on a life of its own. The image of only Li Bai and the moon continues to stick in our consciousness. In this poem, Li Bai depicts his loneliness, where he only has the moon and his shadow to serve as drinking companions. Of course, they cannot drink alongside him. And when the drink is finished, the moon and the shadow disappear. Drinking Alone by Moonlight, Li Bai. A cup of wine under the flowering trees. I drink alone, for no friend is near. Raising my cup, I beckon the bright moon. For he, with my shadow, will make three men. The moon, alas, is no drinker of wine. Listless, my shadow creeps about at my side. Yet with the moon as friend and the shadow as slave, I must make merry before the spring is spent. To the songs I sing, the moon flickers her beams. In the dance I weave, my shadow tangles and breaks. While we were sober, three shared the fun. Now we are drunk, each goes his way. May we long share our odd, inanimate feast. And meet at last on the cloudy river of the sky. Yeshatuzuan 引徒随我身各分散，永结无情游，相期渺云汉。